my guest pet peeves as someone who works in tourism in Spain. Number one, guests reserving some beds. Why? Why do you need to reserve a sunbed if you're not going to use it? The amount of guests that will throw their towels and leave everything on the sunbed and not use it all day and come back for like one hour. Just let someone else use it. I don't understand why you feel you have the right to reserve a sunbed. Number two is when people use children or elderly people as an excuse for something that makes no sense. For example, give me the best sea view because I'm traveling with a baby. Like, what logic does that have? Or leave me a free bottle of wine because I'm going with an elderly relative. Like, it literally makes no sense. I would be embarrassed to request those things. Number three is when guests complain about something that was never advertised as us having. For example, foreign TV channels, we don't advertise as having them. And a lot of people then complain that there's not any. And it's like, we never advertise. If you had any doubts, ask before reserving. But you can't complain about something that was never advertised as being there. The same as recently, a lot of people have been complaining that we don't offer breakfast. We are self-catering apartments. Where the hell are we going to prepare a breakfast for you? That's the whole point of a self-catering apartment. We never offer that. And if you have any doubts, just ask, but don't complain about something that doesn't exist. My next one, I've mentioned this before, when people book the cheapest room possible and they do the check-in and expect to have a magical free upgrade. It's my wife's dogs, cousins, snakes, guinea pig's birthday and we want a free upgrade and along with that when guests don't take into consideration what they've paid and what they're getting for that money you cannot expect to pay a bare minimum price and expect a five-star luxury resort and finally when people don't leave good reviews people are so fast nowadays to leave negative reviews online and it's just such a shame that not even half of those people who had a good time leave a good review.